Okay, I am going to show you the classic Ostia build order. Fighting versus hireling. About rank 70 Soviet player. And I am going to show you how to do the classic build order. So we're gonna start off, of course, with the MG42. Uh, one of the better MGs in the game, together with the 50 Karl and the Dushka. Very nice uh, thing to have in your arsenal. A map like this, you want to get that fuel under control, you want to get those stand-up points going as well. There's a whole bunch of stand-up points on this map. So high uh, resource gaming. I have to apologize for the noise outside, but I got the window open because it's quite uh, quite warm in the Netherlands at the moment, and especially with a PC, it's trying to do gaming and streaming at the same time. Gets even hotter, hence uh, the noise. You see him uh, going for the center there, which is fine. Getting some sandbags done, good move by him. Now he might just be on this side, which can be annoying. No sandbag coming up. Let's back that up already, so we can start firing. Any moderators in the chat? Alright, he's trying to build it. Let's see if we can suppress him. Boom. And we're going up to three grenadiers. That's our opener. We've got the suppression off there. Now we'll take that position for ourselves. Let's see if we can push. He's in that building, which is fine. Just gonna open fire a little bit. He's in uh, yellow cover, so if the MG opens up, I might be fairly successful. Let's try and get the cutoff as well. Uh, after this, we're going to attack up the battle phase. Uh, I need to defend my cutoff. It's a flamethrower coming, so I want to keep spread out. I was going for the yellow cover but versus flamethrower. I don't want to be in that yellow cover. Got the cut off here. Now I'm gonna build. And build here as well. Gonna lose a lot of health real fast if I stick around there. I don't want to keep him all around so uh, that he doesn't just Enemy focus down on my engineer. This time that he's gonna take a bit of the map, which is fine. The enemy is attempting to steal our sector. Set up team G to protect my cutoff. And after this we want Enemy forces are securing our territory. To, to get that two to two coming. Got enough munitions already, but not enough uh, manpower yet because we already have the sand back down, uh, for the medic bunker down. Apart from the medics. <laughs> we like those. But that's what you want to get. You want to get your triple and your grenadiers, MG, the 2 to 2 medic bunker, and right? then you want to get uh, the Soviets. You want to go up to that. Uh, um, How is it called? To the pack. And So 
let's flank the heavy cover there. He's still shooting at that, which is fine. So now I'm actually going to do damage. He's retargeting, I'm gonna get close. I'm gonna start moving the MG over to the bat side. He's been very, very busy with the sandbags, very good by him. Your bunker up. Nice mine by him. Assaulted here, that's a fight I cannot win. And if you cannot win, you will retreat. Um, get the fuel first. 6 minute 30, a little early for a pack gun, but I had double fuel, so I'm gonna get the pack gun anyway. It can help me with all the sandbags that have been built so far. Destroying them is uh, important part. Being able to fight with your grenadiers. Conscripts are highly effective. Behind green cover. Um, engineer has three conscripts units, but so effective. Oh, nice dodge there. Second MG. So he went for an MG, which means it's probably not gonna come. Uh... Our opponents are seizing a sector. How's it called? Oh, what was it talking about? It's probably not gonna come any T70 uh, soon. I don't think you can have the manpower for the MG as well. And I'm going to choose to get a mortar. He has grenades, so I'm going to get Molotov there. I'm already moving out. We have a mortar team available for deployment. If you can get it off, you could get it off. Nice amount of damage. That's what we were looking for. Attacking up, of course. The enemy is taking our territory. Can 
March double time at your command. Reconnaissance flight ready at your disposal. MG support. Our opponents are seizing a sector. Yeah, probably wasn't necessary, but I did it anyway. Just to be safe. Gonna attack up. Especially on a map like this. I feel like I'm ahead, so I'm just gonna attack up. Enemy forces are securing our territory. We just wanna try and deal with the uh, mortars. Any support weapons put in direct. Our lines of supply are disrupted. Taking our territory. We are ready for We have been promised MG 42s. You need sector is ours. The sector has been cut off. Ready. We are losing a sector. I'd always try and destroy the sandbags. And capture the center star using the smoke. So we almost got the P4 out. Yeah, a little bit more manpower needed. Um, no idea yet what commander he went for. Haven't seen anything that gives it away. Because we can do a scouting around to see if there's anything coming. I'm um, so tier force up, don't see a tank here, only T gun so far. And then we want that second ET. Apparently, it killed something. Did we kill the entire squad here? Really? Ow. Shooting at its own sandbag, it's fine. Oh, it's time to build. We have a new Panzer Fall. Attacking the Rus! Fall back! Move and fire! Take us there, driver. Make our patrol moving out. Probably need my T gun. A decent spot somewhere. That's a little mistake. But it's okay, we're gonna get that second ET gun that we always want. Stuka reconnaissance flight in the air. 
Our opponents are seizing a sector. Oh, good timing by him. Bad timing by me. But it's a trade. That's a very, very, very positive trade for me. And I'm just going to bounce. Let's see what I can do. Got everything here in the corner. Not going to let him fire. First, want to get rid of the MG, so now we're going to get rid of that. And that is GG, ladies and gentlemen. So he misplayed this T3485 because he probably could have killed my P4 without dying. Is ours. But uh, we spawned with the pack gun, had the, the grenadiers rallying out of the base for the snare. And then I uh, finished his clumber units up. Um, so to conclude, the build order is a three grenadiers. So MG, three grenadiers, you tack up. You get your 2 to 2 you get your heal bunker, you get your packing out. You want to get that second MG. And if you keep everything alive, then it's just to see what you need. Like, for me, the mortar was very handy. Um, if you are behind in terms of fuel, then you want to get a second pack in. If you are ahead in terms of fuel, you want to get that P4 out first and then get your second pack in. Um, and after that you can uh, either keep spamming the P4s or you can say I'm going to tack up, get either a boom barrel or a punter, just depending on what your opponent has and what you need at that point. If he has double siskins then the boom barrel may be at a, a panzer air is very handy. Uh, but if he has uh, no siskins but a lot of uh, T34s then for instance the panther is uh, better or maybe just P4s can work as well. So that is it to conclude the Ostia build order. Thank you, Hireling. It was a fun game. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Let's put on the music again. That's, that explains why I had so much shit. I barely lost any units.